Hi all, hi. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, thanks so much for being here. So this is a very specific message today, okay? So I am speaking specifically to the community of the universe guru. So if you are a student of Mina Irfan, this is a conversation for you. If you're not, you're welcome to join, um, but it may not make a lot of sense to you. <laughs> so to each his own. What I will say for those of you who may not know Mina but want to listen is part of what I'm doing is I am discussing recent shifts in her teachings. So what I want you to be aware of is for any of the influencers or online people that you're following, who is in their close circle, okay? Because just like big companies are backed and have influences by endorsements, by the government, by big pharma, right, blah, 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 blah. It's worth us thinking and asking questions about these people's messages based on who they are surrounded by, okay? Who is in their close circle. So that's what I'm doing. Second point of making this video is I want to... <laughs> I'm the one who's who's like breaking the ice, okay? Because there's been a lot of hush-hush around specifically Mina's content and how it's shifted and how things are changing. And um, a lot of the women are, like it has this energy of like, oh, blah, 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 it's kind of weird. Have you blah, 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 blah. I've had a gut feeling on this for months now. Um, and so I'm essentially gonna break the mold just so women can feel like they have a place to talk about what they're thinking. What I wanna add with this and what I, once again, if you're not a student of Mina and you're still hanging out with me, part of what I think is an issue is people not being able to offer a critique or just a simple observation and analysis without someone taking it personally, okay? So that's what I think is happening is like a lot of the women who've noticed the shift in Mina um, don't wanna say anything, right? Because they're nervous. So I'm the one who's breaking the mold. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. Um, so the conversational is here at your service. Now, here is, okay, let me just say it like this. Something fucking weird is going on with Mina. There's a weird ass energy. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, please quantitate what a weird ass energy is, Eleanor. So this is what I've noticed. Since her new assistant, Sir Chris Saint, has come on board, there has been a lot of shifts and a lot of changes. One of them is shifting the demographic of who she's talking to, specifically in her email list. She has expanded it beyond women to feminine energy beings, I believe. Um, the second thing is her in-person intensives that she has been hosting has decreased in value. So I have not gone to any of them because once again, I think that there's something weird going on um, in the energy around her or within her something's very off but I have once again spoken to other women in some very hush hush ways where they have let me know that one she's not delivering on quality so she will title like her most recent event she titled it something very specific did not give any content any discussion related to it in fact came to the intensive with also a weird introduction, like having a bodyguard between her and the students. And, um, you know, and that could be for good reason. But once again, it's very odd because now that Mina has shifted into something like more like defensive, she's also bringing in a different group of women. So once again, people who have been students of Mina for a while are noticing the shift with different type of women who are now attending her intensives. So why is this important? Because who we're listening to online and what their teachings are have a underlying signature to them. That was the whole point of my Dating Gurus and Dark Femme lecture. I went and I analyzed three women who have very prominent teachings online. Mina Irfan is one of them. Part of what you have to understand is there is an underlying tone and energy on everything that they're saying. So there's two messages, right? They're telling you what to do, but underneath that, they're telling you who to be. 
And in what you think you're doing is you're doing all of these things that they say. You get in a relationship, you find a man, and you're not actually the person you want to be. So you don't find a man that's a match to it. Or you have to force something from you that's not actually organic because one of these women said it worked for them, okay? So that was my whole point of the lecture is analyzing two messages because we're always speaking in two layers. We're using words, but then there's the words are always a symbol for something else. Every time. Every time, every time, every time. Every time, okay? So um, you have to understand that like, We are operating right 90% of the time from the subconscious. What is the language of the subconscious? Symbols, okay? So you have to know that words are a symbol for feelings. Feelings is a symbol for desires. Desire is a symbol for like what is motivating from you, what wants to express and animate, right? The list goes on and on and on. I can really like peel back the onion. But this is what I want to share with all of you is, is that it's come to my attention, this is beyond Mina giving dating advice on how to get married and live a dream life with a lot of money, that her new assistant is absolutely affecting her message, her signature, it's changing her target audience, and it's putting a weird like, disposition from Mina to her students. And women who have been like veterans of her and have loved and supported her for a really long time feel it and sense it. And part of what needs to be said is just like something is odd. Something is odd. Something is up. And I promise you the way this type of thing works is if there is one bad apple, like it's going to rot the whole tree, the whole garden. And I have a really funny feeling that... The longer Sir Chris Saint is working with her and working in the universe guru like platform, um, I'd say it like this, but but I feel like we're gonna watch Mina's downfall. I feel like that there's gonna be a really weird spiral out. Um, I think some people are gonna be caught up in it. I think that Mina is actually in a house of funhouse mirrors and there's a lot of smoky mirrors going on um because of her new assistant that's what I think it's 100% what I think and I know that there's just going to be a ripple effect to her team and her family um and even internally with her um, because we already see her acting in some paranoid ways which has never been once again a position of Mina. Mina has always been very intuitive. She's taught that. She's taught that she is protected by God, that she is guided by God, right? Um, and that there's always solutions. So for her to be moving in a position that like has a lot of fear and paranoia is just telling me that she's out of alignment is what I believe she would phrase that as. So, listen. There's a lot more to say. I outline my entire theory in the Dark Femme Lecture um, because I was like, I have to have this conversation. There are a lot of students of Mina that know what's going on kind of intuitively and sensitively. They've picked up on their own things. I want to express it and I've actually given a discount code for 50% off my lecture just because I want it to be a more accessible conversation because I think it's important to talk about. I have a lot more theories um, on Circus Saint. I've also backed them up with some other observations that I've made from other women who are students of hers and from his friendship with Jess Fenton which is another really interesting kind of dynamic. Please know, I am an observer, <laughs> okay? I am an observer, I am a student. Um, I don't know any of these people personally. I do not know what's going on behind closed doors. Um, but I am sharp. Um, I do have some different gifts. And I am just offering a few puzzle pieces. I don't have the answers. I don't have the solution. 
I don't have A through Z, but what I do know is, is that women, men too, but I'm really talking to women right now, all have their own intuitive inklings. They all have their own skill sets and observations. And I know as soon as one woman is able to say something, another woman, another woman will be able to speak to it. And then a third woman, right? And so together we're able to create a mosaic. I am sharing this information not to bash Mina, or even to bash Sir Chris Saint, like I don't have any beef with him. I don't have a problem. I'm just sharing an observation because I am truly concerned that we are going to watch Mina spiral. Seriously, I, I genuinely think that because that's the only thing that follows paranoia when it's not checked. So if I can offer my observation and my truth, right, which includes what I have objectively observed and then what subjectively I have intuited <laughs> and I sense, then another woman can also speak to it. And my hope is actually we have more clarity from our group contribution that like whether we speak to, you know, it gets to Mina directly, I don't really know. Or maybe, you know, this is just a cry to the collective subconscious. <laughs> um, that once again for those of you who are here still and not following Mina like really it's important to ask questions it's important to share observations it's important to inquire to be inquisitive because there may be something that is hazy that needs to be clarified and essentially what we're looking to clarify and get to the root of is the truth so if I'm coming from my open place and my truth, like, hey, I've noticed this. Hey, this has happened here. Hey, I have seen this and this. Do I have the full story? No, I don't. But I want to be very clear about that. I don't have the full story. I don't know these people personally. And I'm not here to investigate that aspect. I am here to, once again, observe and analyze Mina's teachings because I know it has a ripple effect through her audience. And that needs to, once again, just be taken in a way where we can converse about that and be honest about it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, there's more. There's more that I think. There's more that I know. There's more to this theory. But I am, maybe one day I will put it on YouTube. But for now, it is in the dark femme. <laughs> The Dating Guru and Dark Femme Lecture, okay? I have a coupon code. DM me on Instagram or send me an email. I will give it to you. Um, it expires tomorrow, but it's a 50% off coupon code. And once again, I'm doing that to create intimate connections with those of you who are interested because it's important to me that we're having conversation. I'm not trying to just blast this information for anyone and everyone. I'm not trying to throw out a coupon code just to make a, like, you know, a bunch of sales. That's not the intention of that. I want all of you who are genuine in having conversations that are engaging, that are honest, that are a little scary to feel comfortable to do so. And that's why I'm having you DM or email me for the coupon code, because I want to make sure that there is a, um, a consideration of like, you understand that I am giving something to you, um, because I want you to have it. I, I care if you connect with it. So um, that is why I'm doing that. Um, so feel free to DM me on Instagram or email me. I do have a video request. I have not forgotten. Um, I've been thinking about it this past week. I will get to it um, today or tomorrow. It's, um, it's a really interesting one. She had, or he, the, yeah, the, what's it? The respondent asked how can traditional wives protect themselves in marriage, which is a really fascinating conversation. Um, and I've been thinking about it. So that will also come out this week. Um, anonymous Q&A box. If you have any video requests, give me like a week or so. I know it's been a little over a week for this one, but give me a week to answer. Um, if you have any thoughts or observations on um, Mina, um, you're welcome to once again, message me, comment, um, or anything at all. But it is please know this is out of the desire like it, for the truth right always being in pursuit of the truth and you can ask clear questions and that doesn't mean that everyone is discredited or you don't give a fuck about someone right 
clarity for whatever reason has become one of the most offensive things that we can do and how we interact and that is a mind game and that is a trick and so don't be caught up in that but to be clear can be a little scary it can be a little intimidating so i'm just here to remind you it's okay it's okay we can be clear we can be honest um, and we can express ourselves and that can be authentic and that can be respectful okay 100 percent. so um yes dark femme and dating guru lecture half off i added a bonus with my theory on what's going on with mina okay so you get the three hour lecture plus this bonus i'm going to add more bonuses um 50 percent off expires tomorrow you know the things the links are below um yeah just thanks so much for being here i appreciate all of you guys uh my name is eleanor and as always just some thoughts